After a few false starts, the Upendo experimental model plane sputtered to life. And as residents of Kambirwa village watched, it made its maiden journey down the proposed Kambirwa airstrip. It would fail to take off. But the very fact that it stood here despite the challenges that have plagued its owner, Gabriel Nderitu, meant that he may well be on his way towards achieving his dream. Gabriel Nderitu is an IT specialist with a passion for the aviation industry. Since he was a child, he dreamt of one thing, building his own aircraft. And today, the work of three years appeared to have paid off. He drove from Nairobi to Moranga with a 250-kilogram aircraft on the back of a truck. This, he judged, was a suitable spot to test his little plane. We've done some uh, other tests in Kag at Kagudorut. Uh, this one, the field was not as good as this one. This one at least is a good field. You can see we are not hitting any pothole or anything. On this first trial run, nobody was allowed to get on board for safety reasons. Instead, Gabriel used a remote control. Even if something goes bad, you are unlikely to be hurt. So that is the reason why we came up with the remote control f uh, fashion. Basically to test it. Yet despite his best efforts, the plane would not take off, only managing to taxi down the airstrip over and over again while tethered, meaning it's back to the drawing board. He dreams of the day when his dreams shall take flight, but this may take a while yet. We've done uh, nearly five tests and so far it's only some minor modification we'll do. Uh, and uh, we'll see where we'll be maybe in the next uh, two weeks or so. He confides that a few institutions of learning have expressed interest in his innovation. He welcomes the idea of partnering with them in the belief that in order to succeed, he will require input from those with more skills and experience in building aircrafts. But now that he has had a little taste of success, there can be no stopping him. Wilkinson Abwa, KTN Live at 1.